YouTube is Sunday. Um, when I did a little bit of digging, found some of these. Found three packs of these. Well, there's a whole bunch of these. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're popping the packs. <laughs> Okay, welcome, welcome, YouTube. It's your boy here, Hero of the Great, and we're doing another episode of Popping the Packs. Um, I went to Dollar General and got these packs because we want to find that that legendary base card of Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, and more. <laughs> Bubblesaur. Okay, we're going to open these up. I've seen people crack these open. They always get an Ashes Pikachu, which I do want. I must admit that. And um, we're going to crack opening a little bunch of team ups and forbidden lights. So, I tell you, man, the team ups is everywhere, man. I try to buy them all up so they can get newer stuff in there. But then I'm scared because if I buy them all up and then they bring in Sword and Shield, then this channel is finished because. <laughs> I do not like Sword of Shield, man. Or just my luck with that. Man. Okay. Energy. Energy. <laughs> Energy. Wow. Wow. It's pretty cool to get it. You know what I think these are? You know what I think these are? I think... These are the packs the stores couldn't sell, and they got weighed, and so they sit on the shelf. So Dollar General or whoever social goes and say, "Hey, I can resell these things," and I think they found all the cards that were like spilled around. Because sometimes you know when you buy when you buy these cards, sometimes you see some of the packs be open and loose cards. I think they take those and put them in there, and then they sell. <laughs> I think they just be resell. So you probably. Get bad pulls out of these. If I get some magical draw drop and pulls out of this, man, I'm wrong. But I think that's what they are. I think these been weighed. And somebody had an idea to regather them so like, I can sell these. Like, give them to me. And I love evolution because you get a lot of the old throwback pokies, man. Okay. Get rid of that market card there. We have a Voltorb. A Misty. And a Mewtwo. Wow. <laughs> a Mewtwo. Actually, I pulled a Holofoya Mewtwo from this pack. Evolutions a while back ago. In my earlier videos, you really can check that out. And I ain't got that many videos yet, so you still can go check it out. I pulled a really, really way better Mewtwo than that. Tangler, the Toss Solid Pokemon. Tangler, the Toss Solid. Tangler. Team Rocket. Jesse James. And a sparkling energy. We need those energies to sparkle. Because we need hollowful energies. Alright. So I know I'm not going to find a base Charizard Blast toy. If I do, I'll probably be the first YouTuber ever to find that off of a Dollar General pack. But I do want that Pikachu everybody been getting. The Ashes Pikachu, because I don't have it. Like I said. Oh. Oh. Nope. And the card there is a Crabrawler. Yeah. Yeah. I think they found a way to sell the Pokemon cards that were spilled over in the aisles in how to resell them. And that's what they came up with the idea of that. But it's even cost efficient because not only that, when you sell these cards, you got to put them in a blister pack. A lot of my greatest pulls come off of the um, Evolution line, so I do like Evolutions a lot. And I see that. <laughs> I already seen that. Another energy card. Oh, it wasn't energy. The mom. 
I'm not sure. Okay. Illusions. And I'm gonna just burn through those team ups because like I think I got the whole collection team up. I mean there's some stuff I'm missing from it, so if I come across it, I'll definitely have a jaw dropping moment. Misty's determination. You know, I was watching Pokemon Sun and Moon the other day. It almost looked like Misty and Brock almost did. It looked like the writers forgot to acknowledge that they knew Ash. And then, like, they didn't even hang out in the rest of the episode. It's like, after they battled, they got, like... Come on, Pokemon. Continuity with that show is getting terrible. It was cool when it was dubbed over English, though. Yeah, that's my blast toys right there. Evolution never let me down. Yep. See something weird here. This pack is already open and it's pre-cut. I don't know what's going on here. This is weird. It looked like... Yeah, they did. They run these cards. Do not buy Dollar Tree cards. They got seam lines here. Yeah, I got a half of Macho. It's pretty cool to go with the Mach... What's that Machop I got? And Spirit Link. PGI, but they they seal they seal this poly world. I don't know, man. They damaged the card. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, they damaged the card. It damaged this poor little poly hat. Why would they do that? What did it do? Why did it do to get deserved that much damage? Poor Pollywag. And Spirit Link. Okay. Yeah, they run that pack. They just ruined it for me. Okay, last evolution pack I got right here. Let's get into it. Are you? Oh, those were duds. Do not buy those. Like I said, I think what happened with those is somebody weighed them and they couldn't sell them. So Dollar Tree went into, that's Dollar General, went into Dollar Tree to say, hey, I can resell those. I ain't bought them. Actually, I can make a little money off of them. Yes! Finally! A golem! Man, I've been putting so many Alolan Gravelers and Geodudes. Finally, a Alolan golem. You know what? I like the original design better. Another one. This one doesn't look like it could turn into a ball. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool to have all of them. But I don't like I don't like the low and grab go a little. But that might just be bad art though.
Mark a car. Bull picks. And another Alohan Golem. Oh, wow. They just giving out a little. Uh, what is this? Team up. You get Alohan Golem. Cool. We do And every brother, I love the Kabato. Can I get a Kaboo Tops? Can I get a Kaboo Tops? And then we're talking. And that's my first time seeing a uh, Lolan Golo. Okay, market card red. No color code gotta mean something. Red. Boom. I got a lot of Pokemon cards I put. I have to go through all these. And then I start giving them away. I give the bulk away. Believe it or not, I give it away. Ooh, a regular muck. Oh, man, we put in the pool today. Not hot for or anything, but it's a muck. I didn't have a muck. I have a, a low end muck. I got the old school regular muck. I remember that muck. Ash won a lot of great battles with that muck. Muck beat Bell Sprout. Pikachu can't beat Bell Sprout. And a Hollow Rubber Dash, pretty cool. And we got a Honich. Rapid Dash! Punnard. Okay. And we got another low and graveler there. So let's see, can we put on the long geo dude again? Because they throw tons of those at you. You get tons of those. I haven't got a rainbow rare in a while now. And a Weedle. Beedrill. Beedrill. Lapras, rare. Is Lapras really rare? Not really. We get tons of those. We get them in the mail. We do what we do best, popping the packs! And we here again with the penny packs! And we going at it! Picks, and yeah, the Kangaskhan, can't ever, ugh. Kong Kong, Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan, I got a lot of love for Genghis Khan. I don't use that Pokemon. You know why I don't use that Pokemon? 
because it has a baby in front of it. You know, why would it go into battle with the baby? You know what I'm saying? It'd be nice if if you fight that Pokemon and it takes the baby out and puts it to the side or the baby tucks down. But you fight that with the baby in there. And it sucks. Version. Version is all lazy Pokemon. Anytime I see that Pokemon drawn. You always look sinister. Yeah. It's your person to look bad. Because in their head, I think when they be drawing that Pokemon, Meowth, they think Team Rocket. So every time they draw a Persian, he always look sinister and up to no good. Like, like none of the Pokemon <laughs> had a sinister look like he do. Even Mewtwo doesn't look like that. Mewtwo looks lost. He just stands there, no pole. But like, when you get the Persian, you're like, eh, <laughs> Persian. Like they just draw him because they know, because they think of Meowth and Team Rocket. So they'll get him a little smirk back. I want to see a happy Persian card. Is there a happy Persian card? If there is, let me know. Let me see it. I want a Persian that looks happy and not sneaky or mad or plotting. And there we go. Got a long muck. Yep. You got to get that long muck. Team ups. Bonita. Yeah, but bonita. And I'm a long grammar. Man, and then due to COVID-19, all the places that sell comics and collectible familiar are closed. So I can't put my Pokemon cards up. They all on my they all rightfully right here. You just can't see it. It's out of frame. But they are right here. And I wish I could put them up, but I can't. Ooh, what is that? And Alone is Zakitor. Pretty cool card. For enough exit towards to make an egg solid. No. No, this is Bengoro. Can I get a Greninja? Got a pretty good pull. Not too spectacular, but we got some good pulls. I got a regular muck. I'm happy about that. You know, this thing is way too over. And I don't know the that key tour. Pretty cool. Different art. That Pokemon look like it has terrible balance. Annoy bat. Lavender, lavender labs. Okay, down three packs left. And another snowball. Last pet. Oh, oh. 
and another sort. And a fur fur. Well, 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 thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video. Get, so get these Pokemon cards out here. Let's get them everywhere, you know, so I can find a way to get these Pokemon cards too. And thanks for watching my video. It's your boy here, Hero the Great, and what we do here, we pop the pack!